There are three different component-based stair types, assemble stair, cast-in-place stair, and precast stair. In this example, we'll look at the precast stair and how to define the end conditions to better represent how it is constructed. As you can see, the end of the run creates a notch connection and the start of the run creates a straight cut. First, in the Type Properties dialog, under End Connection, we can specify the connection method if it is notch or straight cut. You can define a value for the notch extension. The notch thickness applies to the thickness from the top of the landing. Then you can define the horizontal gap distance and vertical gap distance. As you can see here, the distance for the horizontal gap is 1 inch. You can define the notch condition on both start and the end of the run if needed. By selecting a run in your stair, in the Properties palette, under Construction, we can uncheck the Begin with Riser, and you can see that the notch condition is now applied to start of the run as well. Note that by unchecking Begin with Riser will change the height of the stair. You can use Direct Manipulation to adjust the height of the stair. Click Finish to complete the stair.